Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 survival horror game series and in today's video we are going to be continuing on with the gameplay uh, side of our game. So for those of you that have been following along the series, um, over the past few videos we've been doing a lot of environmental stuff and today it is time to get onto the gameplay. So having said that what I want to do for you guys today is I want to break down the objectives that I've got set out based on my level plan. Don't forget if you want to get access to the latest version of the level plan you can find it down in the description below but anyway I want to break down the objectives that I've got here I've written them down on my level plan so those are going to be collect some firewood light a fire find a key and then enter the horror mansion and that's pretty much the objectives for you know this outside area so you know I'm going to break these down and then hopefully we can actually start you know creating the objectives so if you remember back earlier on in the series we actually created a system to change the objectives um, so that it's actually going to be displayed on the heads up display in the top right hand corner you can see at the moment it's just find the hexagon key but you know that's you know it's not really relevant so what I want to do basically is create a bunch of different objective change blueprints um, based on the blueprint that we created earlier and then just sort of change them the way that we need to so the first thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be be creating uh, I'm going to be setting the default fire the default objective to collect firewood and then once we've done that uh, once they've collected the you know the logs in the different areas of the level we are going to change it to light fire and then we're going to change it to the find the key and then the last one's going to be the horror mansion so the light fire thing is going to be a little bit harder because we're going to have to tie that to some kind of event when the player has actually got three of those logs because the fire over here is actually going to require three logs to start the fire so we're going to hook that up so for now what I want I do want to do is pretty much place the logs in the scene so we've got one in the middle of the lake we've got one just down below it and then we've got another one near the start area in addition to that, I also want to place a couple of hunger pickup items and a few other bits in there in today's video. So we're not going to be too much doing too much design work. We're just going to be pretty much setting up the first main objective, adding in the logs and a few other bits. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make sure that I've got the logs in the scene, the the three logs that the player needs to pick up. Now, if you can remember back in a couple videos back now, we created the blueprint already. One thing I do want to mention is make sure that you put in the blueprint and not the static mesh. So if I find that blueprint wherever I put it, so here it is, wood inventory pickup, I'm just going to go ahead and chuck three of these into the scene. And I'm also going to double check that these are still working as well. So I'm just going to press play, I'm going to run over to these logs here and just make sure that I can still pick them up. And that's working just fine. And I can still drop it if I press control click it and then if I go ahead and move away it's on the floor there and that's perfect so I'm gonna go ahead and just chuck three of these in the scene for now so I'm gonna delete that one and I'm gonna hide one in the middle of the lake for now and I'm just gonna chuck that here and I'm pretty much just gonna leave it sort of on the floor not on the floor but I'm gonna leave it up against the statue so I'm just gonna rotate this a little bit and move it over there um, so the reason I'm doing that is because I don't particularly just want it flying around. I want to make it, you know, it's somewhat realistic at the least. So I'm just going to leave it there up against the statue. That should be fine. The next one I am going to hide over here behind uh, this little rock. Just like that. And then at the beginning I'm also going to chuck one just down here, nice, uh, somewhere nice and visible for the player to be able to see it as well. I'm going to chuck it in this light here and hopefully that should look quite nice. So I'm just going to rotate that so it's flat on the ground a little bit and then yes yeah, so I'm just going to chuck it there. So I'm going to go ahead and press play now and I'm going to see you know how easy these are to spot. So the first one looks quite good, I can spot that quite easily. Also I'm going to be putting a material on there later on. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and walk over that. We've collected one there and if I remember the next one was over in the middle of a lake you can see we've got it up against here and then you've got one more hiding away over there so that's working all good for now and so the first thing I need to do now I've got the logs in the scene is we're gonna need to fix up the inventory so we can have the additional slots um, but for now I'm just gonna make sure we change the default uh, the default objective 
to collect some firewood. So when we start the game, it's going to tell us to collect some firewood. So let's go ahead and do that as soon as my third person character actually opens. Because I if I recall correctly, I did put the string in there. So player objective, go to the de uh, details panel. We've got, there we are, so it should be start mission. So we're just going to set this to collect firewood. And also I have a save game file which actually contains information as to objectives as well. So I'm going to make sure that, you know, that is actually saying collect some firewood. So let's go ahead and change that as well. So if I recall, that would be in survival save game, player objective, and I'm just going to change the default player objective to collect firewood. And I'm going to go ahead and compile that, save it, and let's go ahead and press play and see what happens. So it's not updated just yet, so I need to go into that and make sure it has been changed. So I'm going to go to player objective, collect firewood, that is all good. So what I am going to do quickly, just because we got the save game there already, is I'm going to put in an objective change thing down here just to actually update it. Because at the moment we've just got some old information stored on there and we pretty much just need to wipe it out. So I'm going to open this up, this objective change, and I'm going to set this to collect firewood. There we are. It's one. And then we've got to do the same all the way over here. So we there is quite a complex system for saving our objectives, which we will do, you know, that we've gone over already. If you missed that or if you just want to get up to date with how it works and everything, I definitely advise that you sort of go back to the tutorial where we actually created it and you can follow along. So as soon as my Unreal Engine 4 actually unfreezes, we can get into that and we can change the objective. So because it's frozen and there's not too much I can do as of right now, what I would like to take this opportunity to do is just pretty much let you guys know that you know I'd really appreciate it if you could share the channel like the video and all of that kind of stuff I'm trying to build a community here and I definitely want to spread the word a little bit so it's completely crashed on me no there we go is back in the it's back in the world so set player objective and collect firewood for now and I've got a picture I spell that as well there we are collect firewood collect firewood so if we run over this now compile save it should set it to collect firewood and it should hopefully be you know sort of the default um, objective so if we go ahead and delete that now press play it says collect firewood by default and that is great so I'm just gonna quickly double check that my objective change node is working we've got another one over here that says objective change 2 um, so I'm going to drag this into the scene here and see if it changes it for us. So I'm just going to walk over it wherever it is. It should change it to something else. Objective 2. That's perfect. It's all good. So now that we've done that, we know our objective change system is still working. I'm going to chuck in the first one because, you know, we need it to be up to date. And just make sure that gets changed. Okay, so I can't actually see where I put it. There we are. So it's all there. But anyway, I'm going to delete that and let's get started. So we need to fix up the inventory system now we've got our first objective in place. And the way that we need to do that is we just need to pretty much open it up and just double check and just sort out of our sort out our slots. So we need to go into the HUD widget as well. We need to change the icon so it's not just going to be, you know, completely blank as it is now. So I'm going to open up the HUD widget. And I'm pretty much just going to copy the stuff, um, you know, sort of from the first one because we set that up and it was working just fine. So if I recall, we've got two things in there. We have a button and we also have an image. And hopefully we also have that set up here. So what I need to do here then basically is pretty much set the transparency on the button stuff here. Do the same for all of these and sort of go from there. So I'm going to change the button. I'm just going to change the opacity. I'm going to make sure I remember how I did it. So was it in style? Nope. It was in style, color and opacity. That is perfect. Cool. So let's go ahead and do that on the rest. So color and opacity, zero. That's fine. So it should be completely blank there. There was probably something else that I need to do. Yeah, so I need to go through normal, hovered and pressed as well and change it all on there. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it on that so normal it should just be image size image image 
draw as box. Okay, let me just double check how I did that. So it's just an image and then that's none. And then tint, that should also be, there should be no opacity to the tint. That's fine, we can do that. So tint, opacity, zero. This one is normal, tint, opacity, zero. Once again, tint, opacity, zero. One more time. There you are. So hopefully we should just have the images now. If we press play, you know, we've got the white slots. And if we collect the logs, hopefully it probably won't still update. We still need to do a couple more bits for that. So let's go ahead and collect another set of logs and see what happens. So it's gone blue. That's all good. So we know it's working. And if we connect, not connect, if we collect the third set of logs, which I can't remember where I placed actually. Damn it. Where did I place it? Oh, there we are. Wrong rock. Anyway, so let's go ahead and collect all three of these. So that's the first one. That's fine. Let's run around and get the second one. That's fine. And the third one. As soon as we can collect it. There's a couple of collision issues there, but you can see that we are able to collect the wood and I'm able to drop the items as well. So it doesn't seem to be able to drop the items at the moment. I can because the game has actually finished there. So we need to fix that up. So let's try again. So I'm gonna run over to the logs, collect that. I need to make the I need to move these up in the air a little bit as well so they can be picked up better. Because at the moment they don't collide too well. We don't pick them up first time. So let's go ahead and pick up that one and then press control to discard. We can't drop the item, it's not letting us change the colour, so we need to fix a few things for that. But I am going to leave that for the next video. As of right now, we have made some really, really great progress in terms of the gameplay. We've managed to get the log items inside of the game, and we've also got our first objective in place. So what I'm going to be doing in the next video is I'm essentially going to be fixing up the last bit of the inventory for the logs so we can collect three of them. And when you do collect the third one, it's going to change the objective to you know light the fire and we're gonna get the player to light the fire over here over over here and we're gonna set up a little particle system we're gonna have a nice little material on the ground and a bunch of other cool stuff so thanks for watching comment like and subscribe make sure you share the video and also don't forget to check out the Virtus Learning Hub patreon page as there is loads of cool rewards on there and I really want you guys to help support the channel and make it into the awesome thing that it is so I will see you next time goodbye